Well, hello, this is Soya Kaze from SM Gens with yet another video. Now, this time, this video is about NumPy part 2, and that is NumPy basic operations that can be operated on NumPy arrays. So, the prerequisite for this video will be some basic idea of what is NumPy. If you haven't watched the previous video I have made on that NumPy basics, what is NumPy video, you can watch it here. So please do watch it and after that you can continue with this video. So let's get started. Now in this video we will be learning some me about methods. So the first method we will be talking about is arrange method. So this method so first let us import numpy. So import numpy as n like previous video so one by one we're gonna see different methods the first one will be so let me type it the arrange method so what arrange method does is it is very much similar to the range function you see uh, the range function if you are if you have used in many programs when you are writing in python so the what range function does is it takes an argument it can be n if you are writing n it returns a list of for a list of numbers that is starting from 0 to n now if you just if you describe m comma n it makes sorry this is n minus 1 so it makes it returns a list that will be starting from m and ends at n minus 1 so the m here is inclusive but the n is exclusive similarly the arrange function does but instead of list it returns an numpy array so that was that let's see how it works so uh, as as we have declared here import numpy is n we will use this arrange method by this variable by this variable n so n dot arrange it takes so first we'll see with a single argument so let's define it as 5 so what it will return is 0 so uh, let me make it a comment 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so that's what it's going to return and in a numpy array type so let's see so here you can see it always return a 1d array so the reshaping will see a little bit a little bit after this so here we can see it is a 1d array now if you want to make another array in which you have you want to define the starting point of your array so let's see we want to make an array of numbers from 10 to let's see 20 so the 10 will be inclusive and the 20 will be exclusive so let's see now here you can see 10 11 12 up to 19 now there's another third variable third argument that can be passed into the arrange function and that is the stride so the first one is let's start it from 1 to 10 so the starting is inclusive that is the start one the next argument is the end and it is exclusive so it is not included and the third one is the stride that means how many numbers it going to jump after taking the second number so so it will return all the odd numbers if you see so the one the next number will be three that is one plus two then three plus two will be five so it will return one three five sorry five seven and nine let's see so here you can see it had the difference between two adjacent number is two here you can see if you return here 3 it will return this the 
difference between two numbers is 3 so similarly for 5 and so on so that is all about the arrange function now similar to this it is there is another function that is the line space so we'll define it as n dot line space now it takes two argument and two argument as default so the first will be the starting so let's say 4 comma 10 and the next will be of our choice and that is the num that is key argument so it by default it's number is 50 and we can define it anything we desire so here we will be defining as 4 so what it does is from the starting number 4 to 10 in between we want four numbers so by default it will do that now 4 6 8 and 10 so we got this 4 6 8 10 including so here the last number is inclusive it's not exclusive sorry if i said that that it is exclusive but it is not so it is included both the numbers are included and uh, there are four numbers as we have defined here if we don't define it so it will return 50 numbers so you can see it is 50 1 2 3 4 5 and there is 10 so so it automatic automatically does all the math and gets this so if we want like num is equals to 10 it will return 10 numbers and we do want to worry about how much the length we want uh, in between them it will automatically decide by itself now since uh, it is including this we can also exclude it so there is an another keyword argument that is endpoint now by default it's bull it takes a boolean value so by default its value is true we want to make it as false excuse me so false so what it does it excluded the last number and in between them including the four we want 10 numbers so this is what it returns so 4 4.6 5 and this is these are 10 numbers okay so that was that so how we can make a numpy array just like a list so now let's head over to the next uh, next method that that is the reshaping of the numpy array so again so these all does not change the array so since they are not taking any array so they are returning a different array and all these are returning a 1d array that is that also what we call as flattened array so they are all flattened so if we want to reshape them into a, another re another shape like 3d 2d 4d and d so we, we use a reshape method defined in the numpy module so n dot reshape and it takes the first argument will be the array so let's first define an array that is arr and we are going to define it with the help of arrange method so arrange let uh, take it 8 so it will contain 8 elements starting from 0 to 7 including excluding 8 okay so arr comma now here it takes a tuple and that tuple will be will be the size the shape sorry the shape of the array so here it is a 1d array now we are going to make it a 2d so we enter two numbers here now now make sure that the product of these two numbers are always equal to the length of this array so if if i write 3 it will give error because 2 into 3 is 6 so here you can say cannot reshape array of size 8 into the shape of this so i have to make it 4 okay because 2 into 4 is 8 that is the length of array which we have defined here now also there is a magic number that is minus 1 if you are 
not able to decide what you want to make the next number like you have defined two and you don't want to do calculation like here it is a small number like eight but you are you are you are not going to deal with just the short arrays you are going to deal with large numbers that contain thousands of thousands numbers so if you are not able to decide what the next number is going to be you can use the minus one so what it does it makes it tells numpy to take whatever number that fits into it and make the shape so if i run it it makes this same array as before because the number that fits with 2 is 4 because uh, in this 2d array now we also can make it a 3d array now here i've used minus 2 because i don't know yes i know it's going to be 2 but here let's assume that i don't know what the third number should be if i want to make it a 3d array so what it does like it sees here it's it is 2 now here it is 2 what should be the number the numpy decide itself so it is going to be 2 so here you can see it is a 3d array with these dimensions so that is all about the reshape method now let's head over to the next now here you can see now the next method we will be using is transpose now transpose is similar to what you have studied in your maths class so how you make the transpose of a matrix so in transpose what you do is the column is changed into rows and the rows are changed into the columns so the shape of column let's see let's say if uh, we so let's use this array here are one is equals to let's shape it into two comma four okay so we have used again it takes an array as an argument so what it does so here you can see the row and the column so the, there are four columns and two rows so in transpose uh, they got inter they gets interchange so now we'll have four rows and two columns so let's see if that is what happens now here you can see we have two columns and four rows so the matrix that we have seen in the previous command that, that had four rows and four columns sorry and two rows so it has transposed now you can see 0 1 0 1 2 4 it is interchanged into the rows and 0 and 4 it is interchanged into the column so that was all about the transpose method now let's head over to next that is if you now when you are dealing with a numerical data like uh, not numerical data imagery data so how a computer reads an image is in a series of number so uh, if you take an image of a cat now what we see is pixels different pixels different colors eyes nose and cat ears but what computer sees is not exactly what we see so it sees an image process an image in a form of matrices and num array arrays so if you want to know how that works you can see our and the video that is on how image is processed in computer by OpenCV that is a module in Python and there are other thing also and fundamentally also uh, it processes the image likewise now if you are dealing with black and white the arrays will be of ones and zeros that is binary either it is black or either it is white so black and white there is also a grayscale images that's a different thing you want to know more in depth you can watch the video so if you want to make an array of zeros and ones you can use methods that are zeros and and it take an tuple or the size so let's see uh, we want to make an array of zeros with four 
so so what for is it takes it makes a one d array of four elements now if you want to do and one uh, say two comma sorry takes and double let's see if it works uh, my bad so what it does it made two rows and four columns of zero now it also takes another keyword method that is dtype now if you remember in the last video we have used the dtype in declaring the array numpy array so what dtype does is it defines the type of the elements that are stored into the array so dtype now we can make it as int 64 so now it is converted into 64 by default it is float so that is what it is now the same thing goes for the ones now the same so 4 comma d type now let's see what it is so it is a float um, floating points one and a single flattened array of ones so that's how the zeros and ones method works now if you want to make like you have an array array one now its shape is so let's see if we have that method there's another method to check the shape um, is it yep so now with this method that applies on numpy array you can check the shape of that array now if you want to make it again a single 1d array now it's a 2d array you want to make it a 1d array now what we say that we are flattening the array from nd to 1d so what you use is n uh, sorry the array name dot flatten flatten that's another method so what it does it makes the 2d array into a 1d array that comprises all the elements into it so that was all about the basic operations you can do with numpy array so that was easy i hope you like it and if you like it please like the video and comment if you have any queries and if you spot any mistake please let me know if you don't want to use the comment section you can mail me the link is in the description and this notebook will also be uploaded on my github repository so that link will be, will also be in to the description and please subscribe to our channel if you like the video share it comment as i've said so cheers bye for now